All right, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Eyeballs is back. I'm still a little cross-eyed, so I'm, I'm keeping the nickname. And uh, look, guys, the muscle mommies come to me. I search what I eat in a day on YouTube, most viewed weekly. This is what we're getting. And my criteria is usually, you know, something that's interesting, a video that's between 10 and 15 minutes. And it so happens to be, you know, that, you know, some girls that, well, we'll say we'll save the crew jokes for, for a few minutes from now. But I guess we can just call Sundays or like the weekend day of eating reviews like muscle mommy Sundays at this point. So. Hello, and welcome to my studio, which is actually just the dining room table. Um, but welcome back to the channel, unless you're new. <coughs> oh my gosh. I was really sick the past couple days, but I'm getting better. Like, is she, is she bad enough to be like, it's okay, you can cough in my mouth, or are we like almost there? Better now, I just have some congestion still. Anyway, as you might have been able to tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be going through what I eat. It, in my criteria, it would be, is she hot enough for me to not ask her to put her phone on airplane mode when we're hanging out? Like, how much do I care? In the day to get lean and strong. <laughs> to break down what that means, getting leaner would mean losing body fat. And so to do that, to get lean and strong <laughs> she's explaining what that means all right i guess maybe maybe we're catering towards a low iq audience we'll have to check the comments later that you have to be eating in a calorie deficit which just means consuming less calories than you burn day to day and i know that nutrition for beginners can be overwhelming sometimes and i wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be overly complicated and you can still work towards your goals i'm not tracking my complete macros at the moment all I track right now is my protein and my calories. And I found that that's uh, very manageable for me. It's something that I can continue to do and stay on track with any kind of diet. The most important thing is that- The thing about the IFYM, if it fits your macro stuff, is it's like applying to the context of conventional standards in American diets. And in, in the bigger picture, it's really an excuse uh, to hide the truth about food quality and the importance of going organic and getting grass fed meats and all that stuff. Because if you are eating truly high quality food and doing all home cooking, it doesn't matter how much you eat. It does not matter what you eat. You will become attractive and develop a good body composition. It might take a little while, but you know, I mean, I've been eating whatever I want, carbs, fats, proteins, anything on my current organic liver detox diet. And I have always had an excellent body composition and looked good and had an excellent appearance. There's, there's never been any reason for me to ever track what I eat from a caloric, protein, fat, carbohydrate, whatever amount. I eat as much as I want. I stuff my face like a pig. I eat a loaf of organic bread every day, and I still look and feel good. But you know, that's, that's the bigger picture of health. You, know, you should be able to eat as much high-quality natural food as you want if you have everything in check. You don't have to eat this standard American diet nonsense and, and be weighing food and stuff. It's manageable. So, for me, the high protein is very important because protein... But would I go to McDonald's with her? I mean... ...is what maintains and builds muscle, and we want to keep our muscle. A couple things to keep in mind are that every person has their own individual goals and needs for those goals. So, uh, what I go over today is specific to me, and another thing is that... This is an ideal what I eat in a day. There are many times. Okay, so if this was my day of eating, we'd already we'd already be like on lunch, basically. We'd be on lunch already. You know, no dilly dallying, <clears throat> no yapping. In life, where circumstances can get in the way, um, maybe you don't have groceries that day. Maybe you couldn't go grocery shopping. Maybe you had an extra long shift at work, or someone needed a ride maybe your muscle mommy girlfriend tied you to the bed and, and she forgot to untie you who knows the most important thing is progression not perfection is that deep i don't know
What is that? I thought water that was awesome. I thought that was a tub of protein powder. That's the craziest water bottle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jesus. That is not that can't be a real water bottle. That is insane. That's like a backpack. Where's the straps for it? So very important. This is my trusty half gallon jug. I Yo, she can lift that with one arm. I'll 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 do, I'll do whatever she says, bro. I'm scared. I drink or I try to drink two of these a day to stay uber hydrated. But let's go ahead and start with some breakfast because I haven't had breakfast. The thing about water and the hydration and a gallon of water a day, I won't go too much into it, but you know, there's a lot to discuss about water from the actual like TDS physical component, like the mineral ratios to, you know, our what's in there that's negative, antibiotics, tap water stuff, chemicals. That there's it's a big picture. Breakfast yet and I'm pretty hungry. And make some coffee because I'm ready for my cup of joe. Oh, that reminds me. So there's a lot of ways you can track what you're eating if you want to be tracking your macros. See, this this is like, we're arguably about 30% into the video and we haven't started yet. We're just yapping. Uh, like MyFitnessPal and a few other apps. But for me personally, I like to keep it old fashioned with my handy dandy notebook. So I just write down everything I eat and then put the grams of protein and the calories and then bro i'm gonna make a weight loss app we're gonna i'm gonna move to moscow russia and we're just gonna get like the baddest hottest slavic girls just to insult you well for guys so for, for the, the the if you're like a guy and you sign up when you open the app it's just gonna be some like smoking hot russian chick yell, yelling at you oh you fat piece of sh you know get up and you know that and then if you're a girl it's gonna be a guy doing it so or you could choose, I guess, your, your preference. But that's going to be my weight loss app. Then I'll just add it up throughout the day. Just some absolute smoke show yelling at you. You fat piece of... And make sure I'm on track. I'll show you how I do it once breakfast is ready. This is what we're looking at for breakfast. So I have my liquid... Egg. Okay, I like this because I can actually critique the ingredients one by one. So... Liquid egg whites, I mean, cage-free. That's, that's basically just conventional egg whites, and they're pasteurized too. So com those compared to like the corn and soy-free egg whites that are raw, we saw on Frankie's Strange Meat, night and day difference, and I bet you ours are priced similarly. Uh, that's some type of fruit spread, which, I, I mean, berries can be kind of high in oxalates, especially like a really dark fruit spread, not that great for your liver, but most of the time people use a small amount, so it's not a crazy big deal. Uh, Dave's Killer Bread is not an ironic name there's so much crap in there i'm surprised people think it's a health food you know there usually there's some vegetable seed oils but the bigger issue is it's just so many different grains and seeds and very high anti-nutrient like uh, mainly those seeds and stuff and a hickory smoked uncured tokyo i mean that's just that's just conventional feedlot turkey not high quality at all i guess i guess even from a health perspective, redundantly, the bread's the healthiest thing there is. And regardless of the ingredients of these breads and how high quality they are and if they're sourdough or not, all these companies are using tap water. You know, they're not crazy like me. They're not making everything with glass bottle mineral water and losing money living in a shack. So I have my liquid egg whites from Costco. Thank you, Costco. Uh, turkey bacon, also from Costco. Bagel, Dave's bagels because whole grains and protein jelly or jam and then my scale so that I can weigh out my egg whites I'm gonna do about 200 grams let's whip it up boom breakfast is done look at this fresh hot cup of joe let me actually get my first sip right now Hot and good. I mean, is it that bad? I, I would say the, the bagel and jam component, I don't have much of an issue with that. The protein should just be much higher quality, and then we'd have an actual reasonable meal. Let's eat. Breakfast. Most important meal of the day, they say. Does she, this girl's... I don't have a fork. I need to go grab one. Mm. What's the word for this girl? Quirky? Got my fork. What's a, what's what's the word for this, this girl? Beautiful meal. And then weird. Get to tracking in the notebook. 
Okay, so we finished breakfast. Now let's get into this notebook here. I already wrote down um, what I had for breakfast. So turkey bacon, egg whites, bagel, and jelly. And then on the left right here is where I put the grams of protein. And then I put a dash and the calories. And then if it has no protein, I just put this little. So right about now is usually when I would go to the gym and train. But I'm supposed to be taking it easy today. But I feel like I really could work out. So I might just, you know, get a little workout in. Nothing crazy. Don't want to push myself too hard. But just to... If you guys missed it a few years ago, like we did that whole bodybuilding transformation and stuff. My workout routine, which is called uh, Maximum Volume Hypertrophy, it's still available on the website. Just, it's full volume every day. There's, there's no reason to take rest days in, unless it's like really specific circumstances. Get the blood flowing and feel good. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to put out my chicken. So I got my frozen chicken again from Costco. Costco is my goat. So I have four pieces. I usually like to have a pretty big lunch. So Amazing. four pieces. I mean, they're not that big. Actually, pause. <coughs> That'll be defrosting while I go train. And this can go back in the freezer. All right, we're buckled up. Well, actually, we're not buckled up, but we're strapped up mentally, ready to hit the gym. Don't mind that box. Just don't mind it, okay? Uh, definitely not going too crazy. Please. I know what it is. She sounds kind of dead inside, right? Like, she's not stupid, but she almost sounds like it. What, that's what I really like. I, what I really like is those girls that have really wide set eyes. So their eyes are really far apart, so they look kind of stupid, but they're really pretty. And they also sound kind of dumb, but they're not, because they speak like nine languages. That's my type, 100%. Just going to hit some upper body and see how it feels. Should be fine. Uh, I'm excited. Haven't worked out in, well, I guess it's only been three days, but it, it feels much longer when you're just in the house and sick. So. Oh, she's not working out because she's um, sick. Catch you at the gym. I'm the cough drop fairy. You need a cough drop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we made it to the gym. It's uh, extra hot in here today. And uh, the fans are loud. All right, this is a day of eating, so we're going to skip the gym stuff. She has a butterfly tattoo on her leg. I was reading a joke yesterday. I think it was on TikTok. And this dude goes like, do you ever think butterflies get tattoos of fat white chicks on themselves? Well, I mean, she's, she's obviously not fat or a white chick, but I just, I just thought that was a funny joke. Okay, and we're back from the gym. That was not an amazing workout by any means, but I had fun, so I'm glad I went. And what was the workout? You coughing phlegm all over half of the gym equipment? <laughs> I just wanted to make a disclaimer, though. I'm not trying to promote working out while you're sick definitely know your own boundaries and limits uh in my case i was just ready to get moving you know what i mean so yeah that's that let's go make some lunch step one wash your hands now that my chicken is defrosted i'm gonna weigh it with my scale so that i know how much protein I'm getting. Oh, I'm going to weigh it with my scale. <laughs> okay, I th we get it. Is she actually just an alien trying to pretend to be a human? That's a possibility. So lunch is going to be 275 grams of chicken. This is brown rice and quinoa from Costco. And Did she just flip me off? Did she just flip us off? 175 grams of chicken. This is brown rice and quinoa from Costco. Almost. This pointer finger. <laughs> and broccoli. Also from Costco. Can you believe it? Can we like support small business like FrankieSyringeMeat.com instead of Costco? That'd be nice. That'd be nice. So these two can be cooked in the microwave. This is going to go in the pan. And I'm going to start cooking. Well, of course, uh, we have to have some bro science meals. 
if it was white rice, we I guess we could say it's bro science, but she does have organic quinoa. I almost made a corny let me cook joke, but that's dead. I'm gonna cook the chicken in olive oil, so this is half a tablespoon of olive oil. Yeah, I don't really think olive oil is a healthy fat. I mean, just anything is pretty much better. Any animal fat, butter, or coconut oil, way better choice than olive oil. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and this is my seasoning spread. Ooh, chicken. I love chicken. Yeah, I mean, this diet seems like the same issues as the muscle mommy we talked about last week. Just a lot of really low quality protein. And, and this chicken... You know, it's being fed corn and soy, it's being jabbed, it's full of chemicals, negative things, inflammatory compounds that will really uh, inflame your immune system. The spices and seasonings on it, th those have flavonoid and other issues that might stress your liver a bit, but it's just the low quality protein is not good for cellular health or overall health. Voila, this is my go-to right here. I got a story actually. I'll critique this meal first, then I'll tell the story. So the organic quinoa, I don't know what else is in that, but that honestly, that's not that unhealthy. Broccoli is green, anti-nutrients, thyroid attacking chemicals, not great. I, I personally always recommend cauliflower instead of broccoli. I think cauliflower is healthy, something I would eat every day. We actually have it in the jardiniera we make for Frankie's Free Range Foods. And the chicken, I just explained why it's not good. But uh, a few years ago now, I, I took a flight from New York to Philadelphia was it Philadelphia? No, New York to Pittsburgh, because uh, there was a, a a beef slaughterhouse, or some slaughterhouse was for sale in Pittsburgh. So instead of driving six seven hours, I took a flight to Pittsburgh from New York, and then the guy the the guy picked me up and took me to his property. But point of the story is, they gave me lunch, and I I didn't really want to eat it. I just wanted to go home. But I said, you know what? What's the worst thing that can happen? They fed me. It was just a, a regular conventional burger bun from the store with a homemade chicken salad. They used uh, they used like the feedlot chicken, all that stuff. Just and I don't honestly don't know if it was just the chicken sandwich or the stress from my work going on, but I didn't sleep for like a week straight. I had the worst headache of my life for two days. Th this factory farm meat, especially especially chicken. I don't think I don't think pork's I don't, I actually don't think pork is as bad as chicken, but chicken is just so so bad for you. The conventional stuff can't can't be against it enough. I eat chicken almost every day. Hey, I I play Minecraft with her. You guys know I'm a Minecraft OG, right? I had an account in in the beta and my minecraft account was so old they deleted it like i forgot what it was like you used to log in with your email or something and i went to play minecraft like like two three years ago and i couldn't log in because my account was gone i couldn't find it so i don't know what happened there but i'm an old man at this point conquered lunch here's everything written down and then I did a summary. It's about 5 p.m. And this is where I'm at. I, and uh, another thing is even just the regular conventional Texas cattlemen's feedlot beef carnivore diet would be healthier than this. <laughs> Can we get a... Oh, wee! <laughs> I got to do another... I got to do another Cargill carnivore video soon. I'm in my comfy clothes now. And I'm ready for a snack. So we got Gushers because I have a sweet tooth. And these are only 80 calories. And we got cream. See, at least it tastes good. Like you're going to eat cut, like Gushers or Twix or some type of candy bar. Hey, at least it tastes good, you know? Creatine. This is orange flavor. Creatine. I mean, we made a video on creatine a couple of years ago now, which was pretty heavily shadow banned because I explained like it's bad for your kidneys, when bad for your organ system can cause hair loss, would never take creatine. 
It's not worth it. It's an excellent supplement for if you're looking to build muscle. No. I'm also rewatching The Walking Dead right now. I love this show. A few moments later. We're back in the studio for dinner. We're just going to be a chicken salad sandwich. Dave's killer bread. I mean, she actually seems nice and she's she's funnier than a lot of these other girls, so. I think out of all the muscle mommies we've reviewed. Pickles, jalapenos, mayonnaise, and canned chicken. I'm this is so, dude, this diet is, this diet needs help. This diet needs help. I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> I gotta drain this and to measure out serving. So uh, hopefully, maybe she has her. Maybe she has her address or P.O. box or something in the comments. We can send her some steaks, bro. <laughs> so, I'll be back once I did that. I actually got two servings of chicken because one did not look like enough. And the mayo, tablespoon of mayo on there. And this is gonna That's so unhealthy, dude. You have this super toxic inflammatory feedlot chicken. And then mayonnaise is basically pure vegetable seed oils. One of the worst things you could ever have. Usually like hydrogenated soybean oil or something. It's very bad. It'll be my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to do a magic trick. Yeah, no. Hel Hellman's mayo is, is soybean oil based, which is the unhealthiest fat and probably unhealthiest food in general you can consume. Sandwich is done. It's kind of ironic because mayonnaise made with an actual healthy oil is actually a pretty good food to have. Mmm. Do you want a bite? Look, like as much as I was talking trash about Dave's killer bread, like compared to the other stuff she's eating in her diet, I mean, it might actually be the better thing. It might be the healthier thing she's having. And we're back to the notebook here. So we got Where's the, the gushers, bro? Bread, mayo, chicken. Oh, and then I, I also cut up some apples and peanut butter. So all the per now, if you had organic apples, organic peanut butter, you know, compared to everything else she's eating, that's actually not that bad. Protein added up, 154 grams, which is golden. That's right around where I want to be. And then all the calories, same thing. Uh, I forgot to <laughs> add my gushers in here, which is 80 calories, so I would just add 80 to this, but whatever. Still within what I'm aiming for. So, Woo, now I have to eat this. All right, well, that concludes a full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful. I'm usually really bad at guessing ethnicities, but she looks Polynesian. I could be really wrong. I'm ready for bed, so. Successfully hit the protein goal. Now I'm going to get ready for bed and sleep good. And I hope you sleep good too. Whenever you end up sleeping, and yeah. Maybe I need. Maybe that's why I'm not sleeping. I need to eat two pounds of conventional chicken to send my liver into a coma. She's got seven hundred thousand subscribers. She doesn't need any free meat, bro. What's she eating all this chicken for? Q and A. Get to know me. All right. I have no clue where this is. I'm guessing it's Hawaii and she is Polynesian, so we'll pretend I'm right. Oh, wait, hold on. Where are you from? Okay, this one's actually a little trickier. So, I live in Hawaii. I was I've right! I've been here most of my life. I've been here the past, like, 11 years, and then I also... You guys have no idea. Um, the past probably 20 times I've been wrong on guessing a girl's ethnicity, so we'll take that as a win. <laughs> she has a picture with that that dude that's a meme. Have you guys seen this guy? This guy, this like fat dude that got famous for some viral videos on oh, I could probably just <laughs> Yeah, this is this is him. <laughs> His name is like Kappa Kulak with a K, like K A P A Kulak on Instagram. 
I don't know if he's a power lifter, bodybuilder, whatever, but it's just funny because, like, yeah, you know, he looks like some kind like, you could tell he works out a little, but it was just, like, some viral videos of him, like, flexing his lats and, like, this side chest and stuff. And and people were making memes, like, he's Mr. Olympia. It's, I don't know. That was just funny. Some of you guys can explain that in the comments. Progression, not perfection. Superb, sis. <laughs> Oh God! Every one of these videos always has these like s such fake shill comments. Candy is an incredible person. I've seen one of her vlogs where she talks about how she really wants to look after her family and achieve her goals. She's a responsible and motivated individual as well. I wish I could be like her. Lots of love for like. I maybe I'm just being mean, but it is that a real comment? Even if I paid someone to put that on my video, they wouldn't type that. Oh God, help me. Anyway, um, what's what's the deal? Why is she on Hawaii and not eating fish and tuna and poke and, and actual high-quality protein? What's with this canned chicken nonsense? Falling into the bodybuilding bro science. Or maybe that's maybe we maybe we figured it out. Maybe maybe the the whole biggest bodybuilding conspiracy. Maybe maybe bodybuilding in general. In general, I've said it in the past. I think bodybuilding was started by, you know, some closet dudes that liked big muscles. However, a, a stronger theory is that bodybuilding was started by big chicken, by poultry farmers to sell chicken. Hey, that's another possibility, huh? Eggs, eggs, bro. Bodybuilders love eggs and they love chicken. That makes sense. That makes as much sense as the homo thing. All right, anyway. Before I incriminate myself too much, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I don't know about shipping meat to Hawaii, but uh, I guess I guess we could swing it. We do have Hawaii shipping now on the meat website. I think it's $25, which is probably not enough. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. If you go to frank you'll see all of my interesting and unique uh, creative health-oriented businesses. Frankie's Strange Meat, we got a lot of new stuff this week, guys. Definitely get the steak sauce, try it out. We got a few new restocks, stuff on the foods website, do, uh, too. Doing things like healthy Rice Krispie Treat bars. And who knows? Maybe when I really lose my mind, like 10 years from now, we'll be selling healthy organic gushers. But uh, don't hold your breath on that. Uh, but again, thank you, guys. Drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. And... Uh, I'll see you guys soon.